Keep, there's some questions for you. I got funny questions. Keep it basement here with um, Lisa Ann. I'm preview reading the questions right now, and I'm going to Snapchat this while he gives the fancy intro that you all have for your show, because I'm really excited to be on it. Go ahead, do your thing. Uh, keep it basement here. I'm with the Swedes and Lisa Ann, and we have a mutual friend, comedian Nikki Paris. I just wanted to shout him out right away. Yo, Nikki, you're the best ever. You know this, I know this. Yes. And what's really funny is I wanted to tell you about how I heard you on the radio talk about fake dick pics and how guys never uh, get fake dick pics on the internet, but I've been doing that before you said that on the internet, on the radio. I would, you know, if I was going to send a dick pic, I wouldn't send the pathetic dick pics that I get sent to me. I wouldn't be showing that off. I'd go out there and find, like, a Johnny Sims dick yes. pic. Or a Mandingo dick pic. And I'd be like, that's my dick. Um, I don't think the dick pic is a lay down. Ladies don't really need to see the dick pic. We already know with one vagina, you can get as many dicks as you want. And now with direct message, we've opened up the floodgates of unnecessary, unwarranted, and unneeded dick pics. It's a problem, people. It's something that we should start a conversation about. Make a hashtag. Take it real serious. Have people get nuts on the internet about it. Blame people. You know, the life we live right now. And I got more questions. Um, how do you... Um I t also, in the interview, you were talking about how a lot of the people in the porn industry are escorts now. Like, everyone fucks for money, and is that still the same case? It is the same case, and here's my grievance with it. It's hard for people to understand that I believe that when you're shooting a movie, you're making a product. And when you make a product, you're employing a lot of people. There's a director, there's an editor, there's there's a crew, there's a retailer, there's a distributor. You're keeping the mom and pa brick and mortar stores alive and open. So for me, the legal act of doing a scene was something I wanted to do. And the shortcut is to do privates and escort. Yeah, they make more money than they would doing a scene, and yeah, it's a lot less work than it would be doing a scene, but they don't get to get popular to go out on the road and fill strip clubs. They don't get to offer big money hosting because they're not as, they didn't work on their brand. I spent my whole time working on my brand, networking with my fans, being a part of something. Second part to that question, uh, what's a porn star's retirement plan? Like I see you do media, I see you do Sirius XM, uh, fantasy uh, football radio. What is the retirement plan for a porn star to get out of the business? Um, I think most of the girls think they're going to marry a rich John. <laughs> I don't really know many girls that had a plan before me. It's one of those things that just, you know, I'm hoping to be a frontier and letting the girls know that you can provide yourself with a nice enough financial future that you could just do these trade shows four or five times a year, you know, do he things here and there and, and get out, but not have a need. Take care of yourself, keep your expenses low, don't retire with debt, basics. Um, not to send shots, but there's been a lot of problems with Mia Khalifa in the industry. A lot of people have a problem with her. Do you understand what the problem is? I don't, but I think anytime a girl comes in and grabs fame and leaves and then does something totally different, it throws people off. What I don't like about her is she's just always shit talking. And I'm just not a fan of this younger generation that feels they can get famous by being nasty about other people because we all have to want to do better. We all have to want to find the positive in everything. And uh, how do you get your ex back? Say if she's talking to a new guy already, is there any way to get an ex back? How bad did you lose this ex? Oh, it's, well, I guess I just recently lost her. How'd you lose her? Uh, I think my anxiety and being weird and not always taking her out on the right dates. And I think she already knew the new guy. This is embarrassing. Oh my God, this is a deep conversation we're having. Listen, communication is key. How long were you with her? Only four months, but I don't really date around a lot. Okay, well, four months isn't to be taken too seriously. You could probably peep her social media and find out if she's dating someone new. But in the future, Google a good date. Go online and watch a dating show. Ask your girlfriends what they like. So, okay, I, you take out you take out a lot of younger guys and stuff like that. How does a guy, say, with uh, anxiety issues, take out a uh, take out girls and be successful at it? You know, your anxiety is a product of your own mind, and you have to balance that out. So before you can date and do other things, you got to find a way. Like, I get anxiety before these shows because I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be late. I'm going to get over there. I, this is going to happen. And then I stop myself and I say, you know what? You're here right now. You're excited to be here. This is a, this is a choice. 
you're doing this and you're gonna love it and then I'm over it and uh, it helps getting older you won't be as anxious as you get older also I recommend smoking weed I get I, I bug out when I smoke weed but um I I am a Raiders fan and they're not doing well and you're a Cowboys fan I know and they're not doing well they were uh, gonna be in the Super Bowl apparently but what happened with our teams well your Derek Carr injury slowed things down I think all of the Zeke news this year has just been a distraction for the Cowboys in general. And it hasn't allowed them to game plan and start to really use their weapons in Des Bryant, Terrence Williams, Bryce Butler. Uh, we're still just using Zeke as long as we have him, and that's a bad outlook. All right, I got to let get this guy's photo before he cries. Can, I, um, can you Snapchat me? You want to do it, like you?